What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my frontal as you can see and I'm going to fix this little hole here. So stay tuned so you can see how this turns out. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Trisha. Now, basically you can get use the invisible this is my first time so let me let me say that this is my first time and I'm basically just using common sense um, I do know it's a like an invisible thread that you can use but I basically use what I had which was the thread that you know you actually sew the hair in with not to mention this is a small hole and it's a frontal um so you're not even gonna be able to see it so just stay tuned I'm gonna fix the hole first before I start cleaning it and I'm just I'm just using a method that you use when you when you sew a button on or when you sew something now I did put a little this is probably not gonna be perfect but I did put a little knot there so that's why you see this huge big piece which I will be cutting but I'm just trying it out because like I said this is my first time so if I can do it trust me anybody out there can do it and as you can see I'm just kind of bringing it to a close and it, it did I mean it did its part it's a frontal and this side I'm really not going to be part in it anywhere so I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna see how it look but this is what I'm gonna do is no main order I'm just kind of trying to take I'm not trying to get the hairs I'm just getting the lace itself so can you see that that's basically how it looks so I'm going to put a knot in this one I'm gonna cut it there and actually I can take that one and cut it as you can see I didn't cut it to the knot so it doesn't unravel and I'm just gonna take this and put a knot in it guys I swear this is my first time so I don't like to keep saying oh it's my first time but it is so it's not a lot of structure to it but hey ain't nothing to it but to do it right so let's see how this turned out and this is a wig I'm making today to wear today if I do anything so I took my braids out it's a video on me getting my braids done too and um, hopefully it'll be uploaded by the time I upload this that's my goal but I'm just not in this as you can see that's that knot is not all the way down so I'm gonna try it again with these nails I can't grip it like I want to but it's all good we can get it okay guys let me do this I'll be back okay guys I'm back and I got the knot here as you can see if y'all can see it I got it down and I'm just gonna pull it I just had to concentrate and get really close to it so yeah I don't know if you can see it but I got it really close down to the little nudge there so I'm gonna cut it again this is not perfect and honestly I don't think it, it's going to matter, but we're going to see because like I said, this is my first time trying this. I know the, um, 
I mean, it covered that up. So let's see. I know the invisible thread can work, but I'm just going to use this. And the way it looks, guys, let me see. Can you see it? Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it, girl. Okay. So it's right here. You actually can see the black, but the way this frontal is, this is the back part. So again, that's why I really didn't care. And it's like, this is going to be the side. So this is the front of the frontal basically. And where that is, I'm probably not going to be parting it so that you can see it. And I'm going to leave the link to this hair. It's AR exclusive. It is so pretty. This, If you look at my Miami Frankation video, that is the hair I have in that video. Um, it was a sew-in then, but this time I am just going to uh, make a wig out of it. I like the hair so much. And I took my braids out and I was about to go do something else with the hair. And then I was like, you know what? For what? Like... I got that expensive ass hair in there so yeah let's use this and see what we can get get out of it all right so guys this is the front part of the front so and I'm gonna be working all of this today so let me turn my head this way and if I have this going this way a part like that if you can see it you're not gonna see where I actually fixed it all right that's pretty dope hold on let's look for it okay no wonder it's on that side oh yeah so we really aren't going to be paying this any attention because it's on the side where is it there it is okay so you can see it right there but it's not like visible because it just looks like a piece of the hair goes over it and it covers it and so unless you're showing you know the part where your hole is it really doesn't matter if you use black or invisible thread so it's right there but you really can't tell I mean unless you're all up in my head cuz it looks like a, it looks like hair that's what it looks like and it, it just looks like hair but yeah so okay so okay okay we are ready to go and get this popping we're gonna see what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna try to get this wig made um, like I said, this is my first time I've attempted to try to make wigs, but I never finish them. My daughter always finishes them, finishes them but I am capable of it. So let's get it started. First, I'm going to remove this hair. I mean, remove the um, glue, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use this, guys. I had started um, on an old lace using this goo gun and this is what I use when I do my jewelry making and it is bomb it removes that extra thick glue so I figured since it's something I already got in the house let's try this out so let's see how this works guys I'm going to um, put my little pen back in here and I'm gonna go to work and we're gonna see how this go and then I'm going to wash it and we are gonna then make another video showing my wig making process but this is basically how I keep this is basically how I'm going to um sorry guys I'm gonna put this right here how we're going to clean the wig and um, get it straight so keep watching let's see how this goo gun really works All right, guys, so I got a sock, and I'm going to put some of this on the sock. I figured this is the easiest way to do it. got this method from a friend who always does stuff to make it easy. And let's see how this works. If not, I got a better way, which is always a good old toothbrush. So that's backup if this doesn't work, but... Let's see, because I know we want to be gentle. And I'm heavy-handed, so. I don't know, guys. 
I guess you could say it wasn't probably that dirty and I wonder if I um take this and then maybe brush it I don't know looks like it's kind of coming off then I'm gonna wash it with some silicone shampoo it doesn't look like it was that yucky though let me see what this is because I'm not feeling that soft And then I'm going to wash it with the silicone shampoo. Then I'm going to sit the whole hair with silicone to bring it back a little bit. Make it shine. And this toothbrush is a soft toothbrush so it's not one that's very hard to be abrasive to the lace so as you can see it's going through pretty okay but I see there's some spots that's a little tender meaning they look like they're gonna form some holes or something but we know what to do to fix that so I'm not even worried about it because frontals are not cheap so you want to get the most out of it. Now guys, this doesn't look like clean clean. I don't know about that goo going stuff. So we'll see how it works when I wash it. But it is not feeling as sticky as it was. I don't know. I think it is getting it off. Because the way it looked in the camera when I first started. Definitely doesn't look like that now. So I guess we're going to have to wash it to really get the final drips of it but this is basically what I'm gonna do to get this frontal right so we can make this wig but I'm gonna call it a day right now because I think I've saturated enough with the goo gone where the sticky feeling that you feel on the hair from the glue it is not there anymore I don't feel Feel stickiness in those areas. But keep in mind, I did use a that gun first. The gun, huh? The sock. What is on my mind? I used the sock first, so maybe that did help, like get it all over. And I hope that stuff doesn't do anything to the hair. I didn't think about that. Ah, huh? what we'll find out today. <laughs> all right, guys. So. I've saturated it enough I believe and I'm gonna go ahead and wash this hair um, I'm gonna be using this silicone mix but first I'm actually going to wash the frontal with the silicone mix shampoo first so let's see what we get Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and start washing it. I'm going to use warm, not too, too, too hot water. T too much of a hot water. Where I get that from, I don't know. I just think hot water kind of, I know when I get my hair washed, you know, it's like warm water. But then when it's rinsed, it's like, you know, not, sometimes I might even say, that's too cold. But it is, you know, good to do it that way. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to comb her out. Keep in mind, we put that, um, 
stuff on it to remove the glue. I told y'all, I got that from like a regular home store, like Home Depot or something. And I use it when I'm making my jewelry. It's good for taking out the glue. And looking at this lace, if you guys can see, all that good already. I mean, it doesn't look, I needed to wash the hair anyway and bring it back. But once I rinsed it, it's like it rinsed the glue off. Wow. It's like, I guess we'll see when it really dries off, but I didn't think it was working. But I think it does. I think it like saturates or something. And don't forget that little hump there is me fixing my little hole, but you don't have to worry about it. It's not perfect, but you can't see it and that's what matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash her out with the two part silicone mix. First, we're gonna shampoo her with this. We're gonna use that if you guys can see. So I'm gonna just do it once, and then I'm gonna put the actual silicone mix in, and we're gonna bring her back. y'all that stuff works and it I didn't even have to put a strong arm to it it's like all I had to do was really just kind of apply it and dab it and I guess move it around and it looks like we got a frontal that's good I'm gonna put some more shampoo on it just to make sure not much but And be gentle because these frontals are not cheap honey now guys again I will stress this is the way I decided to do it I'm not saying it's wrong I'm not saying it's right but we're gonna see if it works for me okay and it looks like you know this making a wig thing does not take a rocket scientist to do as long as you have some good hair and I know how to sew so I feel like I'll be all right. It's just laying the lace I think is probably gonna be my biggest. All right guys, so it looks like we have removed all of the glue and I am combing to kind of make sure and I feel like I'm sure. Let me comb it out and then I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Looking good to me, y'all. It's looking good. And the hair, the frontal I have, I got from AR Exclusive. They're on Instagram. I'll provide the information on the link. Um, I mean, the informa their link and information down in the description. But I'm going to tell you guys, this hair is so amazing. Um, I think I got like a deep wave. I can't remember. But for those of you who don't know, I sell waist trainers. So this young lady, the owner of the company, she um, purchased a waist trainer from me and she was ready, like she was ready, okay? When she came and purchased the waist trainer, she was like, um, yeah, and I sell hair too. And she had samples. So she showed me the samples of her hair and I was like, okay, okay, I see you. I'm going to support you, girl. I'm going to support you because y'all know I like to support my black-owned businesses and my small businesses because I am one myself. And um, I like to keep my word. So, believe it, I like to keep my word because my aunt is a cosmetologist in Atlanta and I can get the hair for the Lolo because I've done it already. But, like I said, I'm going to support as much as I can. Not to mention, you want to treat others as they treat you as well. And she purchased... A trainer from me and I want to support her and I'm gonna tell you I wasn't mad at all I wasn't mad and for this type of hair that's curly in the length and a closure I, I did not the pricing is good now I know she's getting things up and running 
and are already pretty much up and running. They probably change a little bit. But I had, I think I got an 18, 20, 22, or 16, 18, 20. And then like a 14 inch closure, or something like that. But I paid $250 for all of that. And compared to some of these other companies and this other hair, they pay a lot of money. Y'all see how I just keep combing it? I can't even, I'm not in the camera. I just keep combing this hair. Yeah, guys, she's ready. All right. But yeah, $250 was not bad. And it looks like that, I left it upstairs, but the goo, goo gone. It got that it got that glue off up here and it didn't look like it on camera but it did and this is my frontal guys it's so it is it is nice and I didn't like bleach the knots I didn't pluck it I did get this professionally installed if you see my um, I'm gonna pluck it some because you can see some of the areas look a little but this frontal is bomb okay y'all see it I love it so I'm definitely going to be buying from her again. She's on YouTube as well. I'm going to give y'all all her stuff. Y'all need to follow her, support her, purchase from her. You looking for some good frontals, some good hair. Yeah. And stay tuned because I'm going to have another video coming of this wig I'm creating. But it looks like, it looks like we good. It looks like we are good. I did the, um, the silicone shampoo to help get that make sure all the glue was out and it looks like we have us a clean frontal so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the silicone mix on the frontal just to make sure we have a nice shine bring her all the way back and then I'm going to start um, making a wig but you're gonna have to subscribe and stay tuned because that's gonna be a whole nother video so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the silicone mix and y'all, and I must say this, for people, I like to be motivated. I love YouTube videos, and I actually stay motivated from watching, you know, some of the gurus here. I've been up here for a while, but I'm just now getting the guts to start making my um, videos because, you know, I have a business as well, and it's fun. It's like I found something fun to do, and I like it. So I'm trying to tell you guys now, for real, for real. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I mean that. I know you look at videos. I've looked at videos and hear people say that. And I'm like, whatever. But no, seriously. I've, my little videos that I've started, I am so proud of myself. The editing, I taught myself all of that. And I guess it depends on how much you like it, you enjoy it, and how much you really want to do it. Because you're going to do it if that's something you really want to do. And you're going to do your best to succeed. So definitely, you know, if you're watching, help me. Grow my channel by liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bells because I'm I'm starting to get get you know real used to this and I like it. So anywho, I'm just going to brush this out because I'm about to go ahead and apply this. And look, y'all see how I'm just combing it out like no problem. Like seriously, like for real. I am not mad at all at this hair and I've had it for a while and I'm just now getting this together honey all right so we're gonna take I have to read the instructions to the silicone mix as I told y'all y'all I'm not playing this is my first time um, doing this so this is the silicone mix Hope you can see it. And I wash this and wash hair and tie with dry. And then I'm going to apply three massages and leave on for two to three minutes, depending on the condition of the hair, and then rinse. So um, let me tie with dry this. I did comb it out a lot. So I'm just going to dry it a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead. And I usually have a brush, but one of those little brushes that you use when you're dying hair but I don't know what it is so anyhow we're gonna just do it like this at the top this is just how I do my stuff this is n I am not a professional and I am not saying I am one so I do it how I do it what works for me okay so you either like it or you don't or you either try it and see how it works or you won't <laughs> But I am creating my own little whatever. 
and that's how I'm gonna do it and the reason why I only put it on the top is because now usually when you start to comb it it helps take it through the bottom so I don't think I need to do all of that extra stuff since I'm combing it on down and I might just put a little bit more and then we're gonna see how this works because y'all saw how it was before we put the silicone mix on it and then I'm gonna put it on a I might put it inside the dryer hood so it can dry fast but bam y'all I am so psyched this turned out so bomb make sure you comb it through Okay, guys. All right, so we're gonna let it sit. It is 6.37. I've combed that through really good. And then we're gonna rinse it. There you go. Let her sit for a little bit. All right, guys, we'll be back in like three minutes, okay? All right, guys, so I'm back. And I'm going to go ahead and wash the silicone mix out it's been about three minutes or so and the hair is not in bad shape so I don't think I have to sit too much longer so we're gonna go ahead and wash her out and again the water isn't that hot it isn't that cold it's just right and um, yeah I'm getting excited so guys, wish me luck. Hopefully this turns out the way this hair looks and it's coming back and looking good and feeling good when I make this wig. So I'm gonna tell y'all again, like and subscribe because it looks like my little, my little concoctions and, and thoughts of doing stuff is working from my mask to my little removal of the goo of the front. So that turns out awesome guys that that goo gone i think that's what it's called y'all seen i'll put the name at the bottom but look at that and honey i didn't even have to tag one scrub some of y'all up here uh, have a whole video cleaning it off i thought i did and i didn't i saturated it and i moved that toothbrush along the way a little bit in that stock and that was it y'all y'all seen it i don't have to remind you y'all seen it and look at that look at that frontal look at that yeah, and I ain't even have to buy nothing extra. I just use everything I have right here in the house. And it works. I can't believe it. So, yeah, guys. That is something easy to bring back your frontal. Reuse it. You can see how to fix it. Again, I will only suggest this method if it's a hole somewhere that you're really not going to be lifting or trying to part it in. As you can see, that's why I was able to kind of use my thread I have for sewing in wigs and it's not going to really show on the other side but if you're doing it like in the middle I would recommend the invisible thread so you won't have any problems with seeing it if you're parting it but other than that that's pretty much it guys that's my process in restoring and bringing back my frontal I hope you enjoy